coach, your short comment of this game. <laughs> um, it's really hard to play when you have one guard that can handle the basketball. You know, I feel like we take one step forward and then we take two steps backwards. You know, we get guys healthy and then, um, you know, Domas rolled his ankle and then Yakis' back's hurt again and Abramo was supposed to be able to play tonight. And then, I don't know, he said it didn't feel right, so he didn't play. So you have one guard that's not a true point guard trying to bring the ball up and five big guys, you know, it's, it's really hard to get an offense functioning. Yeah, I thought they also came out with more energy than we did. Tik klausimas buvo apie tokį trumpą rungtynių važvelgimą, nevežiu treneris. Išsakė mintis, kad jam šį vakarą pritrūko mažų žaidėjų, pritrūko mažų žmonių, turėjo remtis tik vienu gynėjų, pritrūko į žaidėjų, taigi su dideliai žmonėmis šiandieną nepavyko to Žalgirio gynėjų grandies iššūkio priimti. Kūčiu, aš tūkiu, jūs yra orvalhant by the authority of Žalgiris. Oh? Say that again. I uh, I mean, overwhelmed. Uh, you will be afraid of Jalgiris, maybe. I don't think we were afraid, but we were definitely but overwhelmed. Three games, the same situation. Sure. I mean, last game, I think, look, <clears throat> if you go back and look at last game, we were down by 15 with four minutes left. And we they had 59 points in 30, through 36 minutes. So I think last game we had more of a full roster, and you saw a much better defensive effort. Um, I think today, for whatever reason, I felt like the energy was low at the start of the game. I, I, you know, I told one of my assistants that I, I felt we were lacking energy. Um, so, you know, as a coach, you try and give them as much energy as you can. But um, yeah, I mean, without a doubt, they're more talented, they're more organized. They're, you know, they play Euroleague. They're a high-level Euroleague team, um, and and we're young. You know, we're very very young. So, like I told the guys, you know, we can't take these games and just lose them. We have to learn from them, and we have to take these experiences of playing them three times in the last two weeks, and use it against the opponents coming up. Klaus, man, zbog petaj ar neisigando šiandieną kėdarinė vėžis Žalgirio komandos treneris atsakė, kad ne, jie neisigando tiesiog šiandieną. Galbūt prastesnės rungtynės lėmė ir tai, jog nevėžio komanda negalėjo versus tokia pilna sudėtimi, kai buvo praėjusiose rungtynėse, kuriuose ar ne, nevėžio komanda buvo stipriai, na, nevėžio komanda gerokai sunkiau sekėsi tik tais rungtynių pabaigoje, rungtynių pradžios buvo kur kas geresnė, šiandieną jau nuo pat pradžių, kaip sakė treneris, mums tarsi trūko energijos, tačiau Žalgiris yra tikrai geriau organizuota komanda, jie yra labai kovingi, jie yra aukščiausio lygio Euro lygos komanda, na, o nevežės yra jauna, nepatyrus tiek pat, tačiau, kaip sakė treneris, tokias rungtynės nevežio komanda turi priimti kaip pamukas ir iš jų paimti viską, ką gali geriausio. And what still needs to be improved in your game, in offense and defense? I mean, namely the offense, I think the defense, you know, They hit some big threes today to start the game. You know, our, our plan was to go under on Thomas Walkup. Last game, he, he didn't make us pay, and today he did. He hit two early on. Um, and Nigel Hayes as well. Missed them all last game, and he hit two early on. Three, and then he hit another one and another one. You know, so um, defensively, I think we're, we're getting better. I think we're getting better defensively. Again, it's hard when you, you're playing, you know, Grantas as a three-man. You know, so it's difficult. It's difficult um, to chase Malachness around when your three-man's a four-man. Um, offensively, we need to get a lot better. Our execution is not good. Our ball movement is not good. Um, we've had games where it's been, a, it's been good. And the more frustrating thing is the last two days in practice, I thought we looked good offensively. I thought we made strides. And then we came out here today and it, it didn't look any better. So, um, you know, we got to get ourselves in something on offense. We have to get into a set. Um, whether it's just coming up and running a mid pick and roll and the ball moves, it's too much dribbling. It's too much dribbling, um, namely from Cedric and Panos, who are the two, the two guards who can score. They're looking for themselves a lot, and they're not moving the basketball. And even, you know, um, I, I took Kaza out the game at the end there, uh, or in the third quarter, because Ariel was ceiling high-low, and we don't throw it to him. So we have to hit the open man. The ball has to move. Um, and I don't think it's, it's a selfish thing. I just think it's sticking too much. It's looking, looking, looking. And if it moves, we're really hard to guard. 
Tik klausimas buvo apie polimą ir gynybą, ar ne, kokie aspektai ten nevežiui galbūt reikėtų juos dar pagerinti, tai treneris lygino šias rungtynes su praėjusiomis ir sakė, kad polimas šiek tiek šiandieną buvo geresnis, tačiau reikėtų gerokai pasistengti gynyboje, trūko greičio, trūko galbūt ir agresyvumo, greito kamolio judėjimo, per daug driblingo, tai būtent tokie elementai yra taisytini ir su jais teks padirbėti nevežiui dar treniruočių metu. Coach, congratulations, very solid game in offense. What was the key of this game? For us, the biggest focus for us was, you know, playing a solid game on both ends of the floor within what we want to do. Um, that was that was the main focus, and to keep the focus and concentration high throughout the game, um, that was uh, the second thing that was important for us. Um, and then uh, the last thing is that we, you know, wanted to balance minutes and um, balance minutes a little bit for the guys who normally play more minutes, but also you know find minutes for young guys, um, you know, to play and develop. Taigi, klausimas buvo apie tai, kokie buvo pagrindiniai akcentai šioms rungtynėms. Žalgirio treneris akcentuoja, kad jiems svarbiausiai buvo išlaikyti dėmesį ir koncentraciją bei kopingumą visas rungtynės, visas 40 minučių. Na ir žinoma, kartu surasti minučių ir jauniam žaidėjams, ką treneris ir darė rungtynių metu. Kaučiu, nėra 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 nė Um, yeah, we <coughs> we were actually off. Um, we we're actually off because of the COVID case. You know, we have to monitor all of that, and uh, we were off for two days, which we didn't want to be, um, but we had to. And um, for sure, the for sure, you know, the little break helps. We've been in a very tight schedule, and obviously, um, not playing that game opened everything up a little bit. Taigi, klausimas treneriui buvo užduotas apie tai, kad tikriausiai dėl atidėtų ir lygos turų rungtynių su Savienas Vezda, Žalgio rekipa turėjo labai daug polisio laiko ir turėjo dėl to būti labai energinga. Treneris sakė, na, COVID-o kontekste šį pauzę buvo netikėta, tačiau tokiame intensyvime varžybų tvarkaraštyje ji šiek tiek prisidėjo prie gero žaidimo. After COVID, Marek was on fire, 14 points and 10 rebounds. How can I explain that? Um, you know, first of all, he's uh, talented. That's the first thing. He's a good player. And uh, the second thing is, though, that uh, I was surprised that coming off his uh, COVID sickness, in the first individual practice, he was really flat, which is normal. And then even in the second practice that he did, he already looked pretty uh, good, which I was surprised about. And I thought today he also looked good, like he had some wind and he had some uh, stamina to go. So happy about that. Klausimas buvo užduotas apie geram Mareko Blažėjaučiaus pasirodymą. Treneris atskleidė, kad na, šis žaidėjas su kiekviena treniruotė vis labiau atsigauna, įgauna vis daugiau jėgų. Ir šiandieną jis taip pat parodė puikų pasirodymą, turėjo daug ištermės ir tai sąlygo būtent tuos gerus statistinius skaičius. Ir matą bat Lukas ir jis situaciją. Jis testėjo pozitivą ir jis atsigauna. Tačiau... That's the situation. He's uh, he's pr doing pretty fine, um, and that's it. Luko Lekavičiaus situacija, klausimas apie ją, tai treneris Žalgirio atsakė, kad Lukas nusiteikęs pozityviai ir viskas su juo yra gerai, tiesiog turiu praeit laiko.